2021 City of West Liberty work session prior to regular city council meeting. Uh, we're going to talk about the fiscal year 21 budget amendment. And maybe you want to go over, uh, you did hand out a sheet uh, with uh, the information on it. Yep. Uh, so before you, I uh, created a, you have a copy of the public hearing for um, the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2021 uh, budget amendment. And um, before we get started, I just want to remind uh, council and um, those who are listening that budget amendments, um, when we're looking at this, we look at um, by the program. And when we say by program, uh, when we need to make amendments, that would mean uh, our public safety, public works, um, culture and recreation, uh, economic development, um, general government, debt service, uh, capital projects, and then we have our proprietaries. So each one of those items are a program within the budget, and um, we're required to make an amendment if the overall program is going to change um, from the original budget. And so with that said, um, I have highlighted um, areas. Um, we'll start with the revenues. Um, and again, at the bottom of your sheet, um, I have provided the line item. And for line item 15, we're starting off with revenues. And so line item 15 is reflecting the revenues we receded for the CARES uh, grant funds that we received. Um, and I broke that out based on um, what was received per that department within that program for the CARES money. And those were based on supplies and wages um, as to why we received the revenue for the, for the grants. So that there is increasing our, our program by that amount of money and that's why we have to do the amendment. So then um, any questions on that? Then moving on to uh, line 13, the other financing sources uh, that was we refunded um, the 2013A and um, we started the capital project at City Hall for the improvements. This also includes um, grant money that we have for Friendship Park. And so those, those are estimated uh, based on those revenues that have come in. Um, again, we have an expense, um, but we have to make sure that we bring that program up uh, based on the revenue that we received in order to uh, change the budget. Do you have any questions on that? And then moving on into line item. I'll make sure I had it on here. So again, that changes your, so the line item 15 there in revenues, that's the total changes in revenues to, to the budget um, that we're reflecting. And then next we move into the expenditures. And so on the expenditures on line item 16, um, I included um, due to our discussions, um, it is my understanding that there was, we already had budgeted 20,000 to go from the general fund to the ambulance uh, reserve for uh, equipment reserve. And um, my other understanding is a discussion for 17,000 for equipment reserve for the fire. So what we're doing there is um, we're just setting the amendment. So uh, based on those agreements that we uh, complete those transfers. And again, we say, I say, I'm saying transfers that would be uh, at the year end. And if you remember, we provide a detailed line items of the transfers um, to go into each one of those funds for that information. <clears throat> um, the next thing is, um, again, the street sweeper. So that was, um, again, approved by council. And this was the first annual payment, and it was not in the budget. So that expenditure um, is reflected in that line item. 
and we have that on a five year lease payment and we can pay that off um, at any time and there's there's no penalty to do that um and so that may be something again um, with some other revenues coming in i do know that um, just this last week i received an email um, there was an additional amount of road use tax dollars that um, was, is part of the emergency fund um, and the state had um, deposited that in our account so we'll take a look at see um, maybe just even recommendation to put that right over into equipment reserve is one thing i talked to adam about um then on to line item 26 so um the expenditures you see there are um, coming from the library trust um, and similar to a reserve, their trust dollars um, to pay for um, equipment and building improvements. And then the columbarium project. Um, so the amount there um, is the adjusted expense. And then we also had the playground finalize the plate and then any additional costs we may have on Friendship Park prior to year in entry. That's again, the these aren't the exact dollar amounts. This is just some of this is on expenditures and estimation because I do not have, but because we are limited on time to make the amendments, um, there's a part where you have to just like when you're building the budget, sometimes there's some estimation steps that you have to take. And the 215 mm -hmm. is Friendship Park, right? And I think there was some additional, but we had some finalization with the uh, uh, Kimberly too. Um, economic Development Grant. Uh, so that was something that we did not have in the original, um, but we had um, requested this in our TIF. And so again, that has to be placed in there as an expenditure. And we will receive the TIF dollars, but the TIF dollars will not get um, receded in our accounts until December of 2021. So, um, but we have to, we have some that we're already expensing out. So we have to make sure that we, we break that into our, our budget. Line item 28, um, again, this is um, the professional expenses and um, this is, we've talked about this, we've had some, um, a lot of nuisance work that's needed to be done for the city. So, um, so for that reason, you know, there's an increase there. Um, we had some properties that we took on abatement. Um, we've had some, uh, other professional contracted services. So keep in mind, normally in the general government, uh, our wages for a city manager would come out of a wage line item. Um, and this is, since we're in a contract that's coming out of a professional service line item. Uh, also just know that going forward, um, we also requested a, um, a funding from our TIF um, to reimburse back um, for city manager um, wages so again that'll come in in December mm -hmm. part of that payment so and that's where it just gets a little tricky because you you know you're closing out um, a current budget but we're not going to have some of those revenues but we have to expense before we get the revenue in so you have any questions so far and so where are we at uh, line 30. Um, again, these are just um, estimating our costs. Um, we haven't had um, a large part of, and we've had minimal engineering costs that have come in so far. Uh, but again, just gearing up that if we receive um, an expenditure for payment prior to the end of the year, that we have we have it ready in our in our budget amendment there. Also. Um, in line 30, or I just have a note there that I, I duplicated, I apologize, line 37. So we had to adjust our beginning balance uh, based on when last year I, we did the annual financial report. That's due in December 1. We did not receive our uh, auditor uh, report, our financial statement for fiscal year 2019. 
until February of 2021. So uh, we're making an amendment to our beginning balance based on the final report for from the Auditor of State. And the public notice has been um, sent to the local paper um, and asked to be posted for this uh, Thursday's edition for public notice. And um, we will have the amendment hearing on June 1 uh, meeting. We've also placed this on, on the city's <laughs> website. So our uh, community members can review it at the website. Um, I, I'll follow up with Jacob, but he was creating a link from Facebook that um, folks could click on that and it'll take them to the website and then they can read the amendment. Um, so. Other than that, any other questions you have over the amendment? And again, just, you know, we'll have end of year transfers and that um, those end of year transfers will most likely there'll be some of this information um, included in any transfers that we do at the end of the year. So um, we'll probably refer back to some of this. Um, again, just as the mayor had stated, that's what's nice about you know, trying to keep it close together because it's fresh in our mind when we start talking about those grant transfers. Um, one last thing I have here real quickly before we head over to the regular meeting. Um, I just wanted to bring your attention. So um, we have some new information. Um, I guess it's more detailed um, for the American Rescue Plan. Um, so I provided a copy of this information. It's outlining um, the use of the funds or um, the intent or what we should consider looking at. Um, also a fact sheet. Um, I'm just asking that um, when you have an opportunity to review the information, I know there are larger metropolitan cities that are um, currently putting uh, surveys on their um, websites, um, wanting to have uh, community members input on how to, to spend the money. And so I know we have um, down the road here, we're gonna try to set a work session to go over that. Um, but again, um, as I listened to this yesterday, there's still, uh, we still don't know when the money is gonna get deposited for a town of our size. And it'll come in two increments, you get half, and then 12 months later, you get the other half. So again, um, until we have more information, so, okay. And unless you have any other questions, that's all I have. So you can prepare to move into your regular meeting. Any questions, Council? Mm -hmm. okay. We have two minutes. You guys wanna get a drink of water or use the restroom? 